Welcome to Max VA Disability, where it's your body, your claim, and more importantly, it's your money. Hi everybody, I'm Blackhawk Brian. Today we're going to talk about the average VA rating per body system. The VA has a total of 15 body systems. Those 15 systems include the musculoskeletal body system, the auditory body system, neurological, skin, mental, respiratory, digestive, cardiovascular, genitourinary, endocrine, Moving on down to the eye, gynecological, dental oral, hemic lymphatic, infection, immune, and nutrition. This is the annual benefits report from the VBA. If we come under the compensation tab, scroll down to the table of contents, and we're looking for this right here, the number of service-connected disabilities and prevalence by body system, page 100. If you click on that, it brings you up to this page. It's e-page 32 of 54. The number of service-connected disabilities and prevalence by body system. This chart here, the number of service-connected disabilities of all compensation recipients. And you can see on the left, you've got the body systems that we just covered. The total number of claims or disabilities per body system. The percent of all disabilities. And then the most common degree of disability. This is the average VA rating within those body systems. So musculoskeletal, that would be the knee, the neck, the back, the shoulder, the ankle. The average rating is 10%. And you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, Blackhawk Brian, why are you showing us these numbers? Because these aren't the numbers that everybody else is talking about, the 80, 90, 100% for back pain. That's because on average, this is what people are getting. So for instance, under auditory, that'd be hearing loss or tinnitus, the average rating is 10%, neurological 10%, skin zero, mental 70%, so PTSD, depression, anxiety, the average rating is 70%. I wonder why there's so many people wanting to help file your VA claim for mental health. Could it be that on average, if they get you a 70% rating and they're charging you five or six times your back pay, six months worth, wow, that's a lot of money. So you can see a lot of zeros here. Endocrine system, 20%. Dental oral, 10%. So total conditions. So down below, you've got 100% of all the body systems combined. The average rating is 10%. So that's not to say that you can't get a 40% rating for your back, or if you had secondary conditions uh, like radiculopathy, that you can't get higher ratings. But on average, this is where most people sit. So the way the actual master report, the annual report from the VA, reads it's basically saying that most people's conditions don't warrant those 80 90 100 percent ratings so what do you have to do you have to combine these you have to get secondary conditions you have to file for increases when things get worse that's the bottom line inversely let's look at the mental body system ptsd anxiety depression if you look at zero th from 100 percent zero percent 1.7 10 percent 4.7 30 percent 20 50%, 26.2, 70%, So right at a third of all mental body system claims are coming in at 70%. Here's an interesting number. 13.3% are coming in at 100%. One last example, the cardiovascular system, 0%, 32.8. So that's the lion's share of all the cardiovascular claims. You'll see right behind it at 31.4% is the 10% rating and so on. You've got 7.2% under cardiovascular that are 100% rating. If you like these short and informative videos, please like, subscribe. If you've done so already, thank you very much. The channel's doing great. Talking about getting higher numbers, the, the trick is you either got to be really broke or you got to start filing secondary conditions. And as you get older and things get worse, you start filing for increases. If you need help to build your claim from start to finish in the comfort of your own home, and you're looking for an on-demand, online, self-paced system, check me out at www.maxvadisability.com. Anybody charging more than $95 for a similar platform is simply taking your money. I know what's on these video modules, and I know what it does for a veteran when it comes to filing a claim. You won't find a simpler system anywhere. And yes, I understand that there are free platforms out there as far as showing you the books, the manuals, the forms, you name it. These two books right here, if you read them from front to back, the operator's manual and the aircrew training manual for a Black Hawk helicopter. If you comprehend them, you should be able to walk out to a helicopter, Black Hawk, hop in it, and take off and fly. Well, good luck. That's why they have flight school and instructor pilots. You can read these books all day long, but until somebody shows you what all that stuff means, you're going to have a hard time completing the task. Till my next video, Black Hawk Brian, out.